Welcome to the mesmerizing world of the abalone sea creature where the ocean's beauty meets the marvel of marine life. This marine mollusk, known for its iridescent shell and delectable taste, is found in coastal waters around the world. From the rocky shores where they cling and feed on kelp and algae, to the depths of the ocean floor where they glide with their muscular foot, the abalone's life is a captivating spectacle. They are not just another sea creature, but a symbol of nature's intricate design and balance. But what makes the abalone truly fascinating is not just their unique anatomy, but their significant role in the marine ecosystem and the challenges they face for survival. In this eight-minute exploration, we'll delve deep into the life, biology and conservation efforts surrounding the enigmatic abalone. So sit back, relax and let's embark on this exciting underwater journey together. The abalone, known for its captivating iridescent shell and delectable taste, is a mollusk found in coastal waters around the world. These creatures belong to the family Haliotidae, and there are about 56 known species of abalone. Each species is unique, displaying a variety of colors and patterns on their stunning shells. Abalones are fascinating creatures. They have a single convex shell that is rounded or oval, decorated with multiple small holes. These holes serve a crucial purpose, providing a route for waste and water to exit the abalone's body. The inside of the shell is a marvel in itself, with a beautiful iridescent surface known as Mother of Pearl, used in jewelry and decoration. While they are distributed globally, abalones are most commonly found in the cold waters of New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, Japan and the west coast of North America. Abalones are typically found in rocky coastal areas with strong currents where they cling to rocks and feed on kelp and algae. Let's take a closer look at their unique anatomy and adaptations. The abalone is a fascinating creature, boasting a variety of physical traits that allow it to survive and thrive in its coastal environment. One of the most distinctive features of the abalone is its broad, muscular foot. This foot, which takes up the majority of the creature's underside, serves multiple purposes. It acts as a suction cup, allowing the abalone to cling tightly to rocky surfaces and withstand the powerful currents of its habitat. In addition, it's used for locomotion, enabling the abalone to glide smoothly over the ocean floor in search of food. The abalone also has rows of small holes running along the edge of its shell. These holes function as a respiratory system, allowing the creature to breathe by pulling water in over its gills. As the abalone grows, it progressively seals these holes, starting from the front and moving towards the back, a unique adaptation that helps to strengthen the shell. Speaking of the shell, it's another marvel of the abalone's anatomy. The outside of the shell is rough and corrugated, providing camouflage against the rocky ocean floor. But the inside of the shell is a different story. It's lined with mother of pearl or nacre, a highly iridescent material that gives the shell its beautiful rainbow-like sheen. This iridescence is not just for show, it also serves a practical purpose. The nacre is extremely strong and resilient, helping to protect the abalone from predators. But perhaps one of the most interesting aspects of abalone anatomy is their mouth, or more specifically, their radula. This is a ribbon-like structure covered in rows of tiny teeth, which the abalone uses to scrape algae off rocks. This specialized feeding apparatus allows the abalone to sustain itself in its kelp rich environment. Their iridescent shell not only provides protection but also helps them blend into their rocky surroundings. All these unique anatomical features and adaptations make the abalone a true marvel of marine life, perfectly suited to its coastal home. Abalones start as tiny larvae, growing into adults over many years. They can live for several decades. This long life journey begins when the female abalone releases millions of eggs into the water, which are then fertilized by the male. The fertilized eggs quickly develop into larvae, which float freely in the ocean currents. After a few weeks, the larvae transform into baby abalones, or spats, and start their life clinging onto rocks with their strong muscular foot. Over time, these spats grow into adult abalones, feeding on a diet of algae and kelp. They use a specialized feeding instrument known as a radler, which works like a tiny abrasive tongue to scrape algae off rocks. This continuous grazing keeps the algae population in check, contributing to the overall health of their marine habitat. They're herbivores, using their specialized radula to scrape algae from rocks. 
Abalones play a crucial role in the marine ecosystem by helping to control kelp and algae populations. These fascinating marine mollusks are not just beautiful to behold, but are also diligent gardeners of the underwater realm. By grazing on kelp and algae, they prevent these plant species from overgrowing and choking the marine ecosystem. Just imagine an underwater landscape teeming with an array of marine life. Now, if the kelp forest grows unchecked, it could monopolize the sunlight and nutrients, creating an imbalance. But the abalone, with its herbivorous diet, ensures that this doesn't happen. Furthermore, abalones are a key food source for a variety of predators, including sea otters, starfish, and even humans. Their role in the food chain helps maintain a balance in marine life populations. Their presence affects the entire underwater community, contributing to biodiversity. Indeed, the abalone is a keystone species, its impact rippling out to influence the entire oceanic world. Unfortunately, abalones have faced significant threats, primarily due to over-harvesting for their meat and shells. This over-exploitation has led to a drastic decline in their numbers in many parts of the world. Additionally, pollution and habitat destruction pose serious threats, disrupting the delicate balance of their ecosystems. Climate change also plays a part, with rising sea temperatures and ocean acidification affecting the growth and survival of these creatures. Invasive species such as sea otters in some regions further add to the abalone's plight by preying on them and competing for resources. However, all is not lost. Tireless efforts are being made to protect and preserve these marine gems. These include setting up marine protected areas, enforcing strict fishing regulations, and running breeding programs in captivity. Through these actions, we hope to see a rebound in abalone populations, ensuring they continue to play their critical role in marine ecosystems. Conservationists and marine biologists are working tirelessly to protect these fascinating creatures. The future of abalones depends on our efforts to preserve their habitats and regulate harvests. As we gaze into the crystal ball of marine conservation, the fate of these iridescent creatures hangs in the balance. The key to their survival lies in our hands, in our choices, and in our commitment to sustainable practices. The efforts of marine biologists, conservationists, and even everyday citizens play a crucial role in the narrative of abalone preservation. From implementing stricter fishing regulations to establishing marine protected areas, we're beginning to see the impact of these actions. In some regions, thanks to concerted restoration efforts, abalone populations are showing signs of recovery. It's a glimmer of hope in an otherwise dire situation, a testament to what we can achieve when we align our actions with the needs of the natural world. In conclusion, the abalone sea creature is a symbol of the fragile balance between human activities and the natural world. By working together, we can ensure that this mesmerizing marine life continues to thrive.